this is your Mark Pachino, Mark Pachino of Minecraft Modern Tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add metadata to your items. Now, if you don't know what metadata is, it's so that your like items have data, but like they look different. So say, um, with the die colours, if you look at the die colours, the unlocalized name is exactly the same. They have different damage values. And that's what we're going to be implementing today. So in our items class, you want to make a new package and I'm going to add a chip. So like a microchip and that lot. And this is like from my industrial tech mod, which hopefully is going to be a video on soon. So look out for that. Uh, so item chip, like so. This must extend an item and do everything that we normally do. So import item. Like so, you know, get the constructor to take in the unlocalized name. So once we've got that in, uh, there's a couple more things that we need to do. So first thing we need to do to say that it's metadata item, we need to do this dot set has subtypes to true. So we're going to say it's got subtypes. Types. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new handler class called enum handler, which is going to handle all of our enums. Now, if you don't know what enum is, I recommend go looking that up on Google, Java enum. And yeah, so we want a public static enum. And I'm going to call this chip types. And that's must this, because it's like, well, we didn't have to, but I prefer to make it implement I string serializable like so. So control shift O if I okay. I string there you go. Must smell it, spelt it wrong. So, yep, yeah, so that wants us to create this. So, what we want to do is, uh, create a little constructor in here so gonna be chip types so private chip types and now this is gonna take in a string name and an integer for the ID and we want to just store these somewhere so private ID private int ID private string name like so and then we just initialize this. So this dot id equals id. This dot name equals name. And then this should return this dot name. Uh, we're going to add another method called get id. And we're going to add one more, and it's to string. And we're just going to return the get name method. So get name. Like so. So now we can actually start creating our types. So I'm just going to have two types of basic and advanced. So you type it like this, basic. You open it up and say, well, we've got it here. It's a string name. So string for the name. So basic. And then the ID is zero. Now counting in Java and most programming language starts with zero. So that's what it does here. And then we just want to do advanced. And advanced is the idea of one like so that will work now what we want to do is we want to add the items so get sub items like so and now what we're going to do we're going to iterate through these so i'm just going to change this to item and items here and what we're going to do is go for now we're going to make a for loop so we're going to initialize the value of i to be zero then we're going to say if i is smaller than the enum well what we can actually do here is pretty cool so you could do enum handler dot chip types or we could just do chip types and i'll import it from there save doing the long stuff dot values dot length so then we just add one so that's going to say well this has two values the basic and advanced for every one of these it's going to go through and run this code once so we're going to add the item so items dot add 
and it's just a new item stack and then it's just the item the amount is one now we need metadata and the meta is actually i because i is the id so on the first one i is zero because it's like the first one and then it's i is one and that will do our get sub items now we need to do the same with the localized name so get unlocalized name now you want the one that has a stack here and it's going to be quite quite close so first like before we're going to iterate through every one in the uh, enum handler so like before chip types dot values dot length then i plus plus uh, add one to i now what we want to do is we want to check if stack dot get item damage so the items damage is equal to i so we're saying oh hey um if say the stack's got no damage at all then it should return the basic um so i would be zero first off so if uh damage of zero is same as zero which it is we need to return this dot get unlocalized name add dot so we're going to make so like uh it'll be because it's probably going to be chip dot basic like in uh uh like to register it so then we want to add and it's chip types dot values i dot get the name and yeah so basically if it's not that we need to just uh continue so that just tells it to continue the for loop. So this should run twice and it should add the correct thing to the unlocalized name. Now here, we're just going to return um, this.get unlocalized name add and it should be dot chip types dot basic dot get name. And I forgot an add here. So that's basically if this didn't work, which it should work, it would just return the basic one. So yeah, that's actually our item class. Now we want to go and register this item. So we want a public static item and I'm going to call it chip. And now what we have to do is we just register the item once, but our register renders will be different. So we need to go through all of the different item damage values and register it correctly. So you want to do for int i equals zero. i is smaller than chip. Well, well, let's just go for the enum handlers one. Dot chip types dot values dot length. So we're going to iterate for all the different values. And just register render. Now we've got to have a new register men render method which supports damage values. So our new register render method should support damage values and also a custom file name. So just int meta and a string file name. And I'll tell you where to put these. So meta goes where this zero is here. So that was just automatically saying meta zero. And where it says item dot get and localized name, we're going to replace this with the file name. And I'll show you this after. So like so, you want to call register render. You want to call the second one. Now the item is chip. The metadata is i. The file name. Now I'm going to call it like chip underscore basic. So chip underscore then add enum handler dot chip types dot values i dot get name so for the first one which is id zero is basic so return it will register chip underscore basic to the damage value of zero for advanced it'll be a one here so damage value one should be chip underscore advanced so yeah that's all the register render stuff but we're gonna have to do something in a proxy now it's this is this is especially for uh um 
metadata because we have to do something called the model bakery. So it's how it makes the model you need to say that the item has variants. So in a common proxy, you want to add a public void register and model bakery stuff. That's just what I normally call it. You can call it what you want. And just register model bakery stuff. Like so. It doesn't need any super stuff. And it's just model bakery dot register item variant. So that's mod items dot chip. Now the name, it's like new resource location. Reference dot mod ID. And then here, what we have to do is put in the um, what do you localize name? So it'd be chip underscore basic for the one. And now we just add a. Oh, I'm just going to copy and paste this for quickness. So select this paste and then chip underscore advanced and like so. So that'll say that. Damage row is zero, is chip basic, damage row is one, chip advanced. Now, this, like, you just add another comma and new resource location for every different damage value you have. Now, we need to call this, and I'm just going to call this here proxy.register model bakery stuff. And yeah, now, I've got all of our models and textures here. It's like a normal model, so I'll just open it up here. It's a normal model. So, yeah, so let's just put this into our resources. So, models, item. So, let's get the item models in. Like so. And let's put these in textures as well. You can find these in the description of the video as well. And we should be able to run the game perfectly. And we should have our metadata. Now, when we load up the game, we won't have the correct name for them yet. Which... I'll show you in the game. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So if you go inside of our test world, we should be able to see our metadata item in the game. So let's just have a look then. So if we open up our inventory, go to our creative tab. In items, we have item.chip.basic.name, item.chip.advanced.name. And we have the texture applied. Now, I'm going to break that. Because that's quite irritating. The noise. So yeah, we've got our chips. Don't they just look beautiful? But they're called item.chip.basic.name. And item.chip.advanced.name. Now, I'll show you where it got this from. So if we go over to our item chip. It's actually here. Getting a localized name. So we know this bit worked. Now, if we just go over to our en underscore us. We should be able to fix this up. So, if we do item dot chip dot basic dot name and uh, basic chip item dot chip dot advanced dot name equals advanced chip. As simple as that. So, if we just reload our textures, we should be able to see this. And like so, we have advanced chip and basic chip. Now, if we press F3 and H to show the tool tips, you can see this is BOE colon chip. And um, you see that zero, so it's hashtag 4109 slash zero, which is metadata zero. This is metadata one. You see these, these don't have that because it, we never registered the metadata, nor do any of these have that. But our metadata items, now I can show you here what I was on about earlier. So if you look at um, the, like, uh, here you go, here's a die, it's a die damage 0, die damage 14, you know. And you can clearly see that. So, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I am out.